The JZOS Toolkit and Batch Launcher. The JZOS Toolkit and Batch Launcher was created for Java application developers so that they can easily write and deploy Java applications that make use of services that are unique to ZOS. So why is this important? We are providing a set of helper classes called the JZOS Toolkit. This API toolkit helps Java developers make use of unique mainframe services right inside their Java applications. Services like accessing traditional mainframe datasets, submitting jobs, communicating with system consoles, or interoperability with COBOL or assembler transaction data. The JZOS Java APIs allow Java developers to write applications quickly and easily, just like they would code on the common Linux or Windows platforms. Let's take a real life user story. Let's say we have a Java developer here and he works for an insurance company. And he's tasked with creating a batch processing application that reads, writes, and maintains a list of claims using the ZOS mainframe system and storage. This guide will walk you through the steps that are needed to deploy a Java application on the mainframe. The tutorial assumes that you have Eclipse or an equivalent IDE installed on your workstation. We personally recommend the ZOS Explorer Aqua Edition to walk you through this tutorial. Additionally, you should have the IBM Java SDK installed on a ZOS system. These classes depend on a Java native interface or JNI library, which is packaged with the supported IBM ZOS Java SDKs. ZOS offers two execution environments. One is a traditional mainframe environment, and the other is a Unix System Services or USS environment similar to Unix. By the end of this tutorial, as a Java developer, you will be able to use one of our Java sample programs to read a mainframe data set from both the traditional mainframe and the common USS environment. We will provide the sample Java program for you. Remember that Java application developer? You need to create that batch processing application? Well, there are two parts to that real life scenario. First is a mainframe batch job running a Java application that reads incoming claims data from a database and checks if the claim is payable to the insured. Next, a Java application will read that flat file and print checks to all the payees. We will be focusing on part two for this tutorial. Now I'm going to kick it over to Michael, who's going to walk you through that.